welcome to Istanbul Park where we bring to you qualifying for the Turkish Grand Prix. Now just what we've seen, it currently on pole is Esvan Ocon and it's so wet that I don't see anyone else improving to be honest. Look at the gap some people are on. It's a messy qualifying just like we saw four, three, four years ago in um, Istanbul Park. Why are so many people on soft? I don't get why people are setting laps on soft to be honest. The track is soaking wet. The only person who's been able to make the intermediates work is Esteban Ocon. And I mean, it's definitely not soft weather conditions wise. I've been watching it the last 10 minutes and it's not been. Definitely not. But Ocon, maybe, into, maybe it's even full wet because we've just seen Ocon, the man on provisional pole. We'll get his pole lap in a second. But this is what just happened to Ocon. Going out of this normally flat out triple left hander or is it quadruple left hander I'm not even sure he goes wide on the off the road and coming back on puts the power on too early loses the car hard into the armco spins the car around knocks over on a ramco sponsor board and the 100 meter brake marker which in all fairness that is a pretty easy way to learn breaking points for that corner is to go by the 100 meter marker so that could have ruined other people's laps as well just these little things but anyway Ocon crashes but thankfully it's not going to affect him he's still on pole so let's have a look at his pole lap then it was his first lap this one here gotta fast forward a little bit Actually, no it wasn't his first lap was it hang on I think it was this one. Yeah, it would have been this one. So let's watch a pole. No. Let's show you S Van Ocon's pole lap for the Turkish Grand Prix. Yeah, hang on, I don't think it would have been this one. No, it would have been this one actually. Yeah, Ocon. So turn one, flat, breaking to the left hander, then it's a flat out right hander. Breaker on the 50 meter mark for this next part. A slow left hander, he's got the RB just in front of him. Yuki Snowder, by the way, is back for this weekend. Probably should mention that he actually went wide at one point on this lap. A little bit wide, just because of the RB in his way. The Ocon is the tire whisperer for this race, this qualifying session. He's the only one that's really been able to make it work. He raced here once in 2021 in the Renault. He goes up the hill right hander. This is where he crashed a few laps later. But for this one, you just got to, I mean, you can lift off the throttle a little bit. If you need to. And then, turns in a bit too early. I think he got a bit of curve there. As he fires down towards the left right chicane. For some reason, the 100 meter bar board isn't there. So maybe something happened to it before as well. I'm not too sure. But anyway. Through the right hand up, up the little crest, before we go down another crest. He's got the red ball in front of him. DRS opens, flat out right hand kink. Towards the final three corners of the track. This is where the two red balls collided all those years ago in 2013. Break of the 100 meter marker. Try and take it as steady as you can through the left hand over for another slow right left chicane to end the lap off it's a lot like what we saw in 2020 it was it 2021 i'm not too sure with lance stroll getting that pole position what a brilliant qualifying session that was but the drs opens again ocon crosses the line and that is his pole lap for the turkish grand prix so let's go through your grid then qualifying is now of course over let's have a look then nick de Vries. actually let's go for this one so we can see what tires people run um nick de Vries at the back on the soft Intermediate, sorry, tyres. It's, um, I mean, yeah, no disappointing session for him. He hasn't really proved himself much so far this season. He's had a few decent results. Last week, actually, he had solid mid-table points result in the sprint and the, um, race. Apart from that, he's just been poor all season long, and I'm not surprised he's getting dropped next year. Charles Leclerc in the Ferrari, the w man who won the Korean Grand Prix last week, is starting in 19th place. That is huge 
for the championship leader by now 28 points, which means he's more than a race win ahead of the man in second place, which we'll get to in a second. Russell, he's been Mr. Qualifying, Mr. Saturday for most of this season. He's down in 18th, even he was an Inters. Magnussen, 17th. He is the man in second place in this championship. He finds himself right at the back, and when it was Charles Leclerc, the man who was having the pool qualifying, he needed, to count, he needed to counter on it, and he did not. Lando Norris, he's third in the championship, only five points behind Magnussen. He's in 16th place. Paul Cher, he was so good in the rain one week ago, but now it's just not showing, really. I mean, he was kind of lucky with the strategy as well last week. But, yeah, I mean, Snowden, this is his first race back since the US Grand Prix, where he had that big crash, caused his... Um, some fractures in his vertebrae he's back this weekend he was meant to miss this one but he thought that he could make a week early and he has no issues so far so Hadjar has been dropped again well not again but he has been dropped Drogovic another time after from the Korean Grand Prix this time of the sprint race with the wet weather tyres and again another decent strategy call he is in 13th place Sergeant 12th Verstappen 11th Joe 10th Hulkenberg 9th Sainz 8th Vesti 7th Piastri 6th Albon fifth, he's fourth in the championship, only two points behind Norris in third. So if he had a decent race this weekend, with everyone else over behind him, he could really push himself into any sort of title contention. With 25 points he came out with in Korea, a second in both the sprint and the Grand Prix. Stroll fourth in a decent session for him, of course. He got pole here a few years ago. He knows this track, he's very good at this track. Um... Yeah, Gasly third in the slowest Alpine of the um, session. There we go, I can't talk. For the reigning Constructors World Champions, Liam Lawson, his best qualifying session in a while. He's going to put it in second place. But your pole sitter, the man who won two weeks ago in India, is Esteban Ocon on pole, the Frenchman. We're back tomorrow. It's 12pm UK time for Lights Out. We will see you then. Goodbye.